Hi everyone, I am Bea Grajales, Audience Development Manager at Dojo Live. And I was thinking about my top three shows for this year, and I realized that we need to support girls in tech world. So I decided to choose my favorite women's shows at Dojo Live. So, the first one is Telemedicine and Women's Health, How to Increase Access with Olivia Kisman. She is the Strategic Project Manager at 28 Health. I choose this particular show because the mission of this company is to increase access of sexual health to underserved women. Really the barriers that those women face on a daily basis, not having the time to go to the doctor, not having the time to commute, not being able to schedule a meeting with a doctor, all of those got even bigger barriers during COVID. And so, and even bigger, especially for that population. And so that's why uh, I think that we saw a huge increase in need and in demand from those population because they really, they really look for a solution that is adapted to their needs specifically. The second one is Femtech and Maternal Health with Julia Slanina. She is the CEO and founder at Treehouse Medical. So if you want to know more about positive parenting, streamline maternal health information, you must watch this show. Um, I started medical school when my son was a year old. And um, that's when I really started having a real passion for women's health, for uh, children's health, pediatrics, and focusing really on, on helping mothers and babies. I had a, a difficult um, postpartum journey. And so um, I realized that there were so many providers that helped me um, to, to help and support me adapting to being a new mom. And so after my first year of medical school, um, I unfortunately, um, had a, a, a very awful family tragedy that happened. My mother was diagnosed with terminal cancer and I had to stop my medical degree. Um, and I needed to stay home and be home with my family, take care of my child and change really everything that happened in my life. It was just a complete um, 180. Mm -hmm. And the third one was so funny because we were talking about the world of dating apps with Lady Angelo. She is the CEO and co-founder at Dick and Tabby. And the show was Pets and Dating Apps. So if you love animals and you want to know someone who loves animals like cats or dogs, you must watch this video because we were talking about the app that you're looking for. Uh, there was a study last summer from Colorado State University that said men who have cats in their profile photos on general dating apps perform worse and get fewer matches than if they didn't have an animal in their photos at all, which Ooh. was a major surprise. You thought animals would be an automatic bonus, but to so many people, cat men are seen as neurotic, uh, less masculine, um, you know, and it's to cat people, crazy, right? Because to cat people, you're showing compassion. You're showing the capacity to love, which if you're swiping through general dating apps is always a major question with a lot of those photos and people that you come across, right? And so this isn't just, we can't find people out in the real world who are cat people. Of course you can. So there are my top three shows for this year. And if you want to know more about tech trends, don't forget to follow us in our social media accounts as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. Find us as Dojo Live. So see you next year. Ciao.